no, we, 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 we haven't commentated throughout all of Ultimate together yet. This is the first time. I failed the pop quiz, by the way, yeah. <laughs> which was the last time the two of us has commentated together. But we're here and now in winner's final. It's between Tilde and Quid. Regardless of who comes out on top, I think the action leading into this point is going to be ridiculous. But Tilde opening up with some impressive damage. Oh. And the kill at that! Whoa. Great start to the set. All right. <laughs> And switching to Zard immediately. I think maybe he just wants to get to Squirtle as quickly as possible. No, he's just comfortable. Oh, I think he wants to, yeah. yeah. Using the Zard to eat a combo and then have access to that, you know, invincibility from the Pokemon switch. Really smart right there, actually. Oh, is that? This could be big. Oh, he kind of missed spaces that back air. Yep. And the reflector. That's something that we hadn't mentioned, but it could be very relevant, especially against Ivy Swords Quid. <laughs> Oh, I think he's too far, yeah. No, pushed out way too far. Just the presence of Tilde out there, too much to bear. A whole lot of switching going on in this one. Yeah, and... Oh. Tilde, one, this is kind of similar to what we saw in that uh, last game against Silvio. Up by a massive amount, but I will say that Quid has so much comeback potential to the point where Tilde cannot be comfortable, especially if he's not able to, you know, if Quid plays around the ability to, you know, get comboed by, like, 60%, which he's doing an all right job of. You know, he's eating these individual hits, and Tilde's keeping up the pressure, but we're not seeing that, you know, the, the huge strings that are of guaranteed damage. Finally reverses it, but what can he actually do here? Yeah, not too much. I think the fact that Tilde is staying very reserved with his approaches is actually helping out tremendously here. Because, yeah, it's just nickel and dime damage from Falco, and that's whatever from these individual hits of forward air and air. But keeping that damage in at least a point where you don't have to worry about getting outpaced by, like, one solid combo is really important for Tilde. Because no matter what, he's not overextending. Keeping those boots to the ground is really important for finding the mark when the opportunity arises. That was a fantastic start to the set for Tilde. Yeah, and if we could just get a replay on that. That was actually, so we saw Tilde going for that edge guard here. Uh, wait, no, it's, it's a little while. He reverses this uh, particular situation. Yeah, gets this back air, and then you see he wanted the down air, and it just... It was a little bit too slow on it. That back that air from Quid should not have come out. Uh, was it back air or was that So he, he gets flopped around because he gets spiked by side B, and that's whatever. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he's mashing. That's Look at that. I'm actually surprised that missed. So it does take up a lot of space, but it's not especially fast, and the hitbox is at the end of the whip. It doesn't go along the entire vine. So it's not like you're slashing through with a sword. It's much more exact than you'd, you'd expect. But okay. not exact enough. Game two brings us to small battlefields, and we already see a bit of damage answered this time from Quid. Oh, that could have been huge, that missed tech, but Quid not actually there to punish it. And now Quid's taking about 60% Squirtle backed into the corner. I will say that for the most part, Quid is starting to do a really good job of going on pressure and then hold back because Tilde is starting to hit buttons at a disadvantage. And it feels like for the most part, Quid is adapting to that, but has he adapted enough to the point where he can actually start exploiting it for a win condition? And that still remains to be seen. I mean, Tilda only taking about 58%. Oh, Ooh, that was ever so slightly out of reach for a sweet spike kill, but catching the landing with up air. Do we get another? No, sir, not yet. And this is that Quid oh. Ivy sword that he is so Ooh. well known for. He's just barely surviving that one. I don't think he can take another Yo, one. Yo, where are we at? Go. Hold on. I feel like that's the sort of situation where you can go off stage and try to challenge it. It's difficult to call, though, in that situation because reversals are so prone to follow up in that case. Fly acting as an invincible reversal, really solid for getting quit back to stage and netting a kill. But the, the offstage play is so topsy-turvy between both of these characters because it really just takes one button for everything to go awry. But 182%. Things are not yet quite arrived for Quid. On that trade? Oh, and this is a max rage Charizard. This is a horrifying thing to have to face down. And <laughs> if these Nairs or back airs find their mark, we might see something silly. Reverse Ooh, up to. Ew! Yo, he slid in with it too? Ah, but there. 
Finally, that back, this is, that's the sort of thing where Tilted can be so easy because one misstep right there could have put him down three stocks to one. But here he has more wiggle room, you know, without having to face down all of that rage or anything like that. And, oh, oh that's too surviving? low. No. Yeah. Too low for even Charizard tops and fly. Instead, that down air, an excellent call out that gives Tilde a lead. And Quid managing to, he managed to get a big comeback earlier too. Uh, in this game at least. I, I feel like all of the chaos of this game too is only kept an even game, as opposed to most situations where Quid is able to run away with all of the momentum. Here, it's keeping his head above water. That should be it. No. Nope. What's happening? Okay, still manages to clean up the stock, but that's we're seeing some uncharacteristic, uncharacteristic gloves uncharacteristic clubs out of Quid. I think it's because of the how fast-paced the action has been in this game, too. We've seen so many off-stage kerfuffles, so many different trades in stage control. And Hilde has been cool as a cucumber the whole time. He's doing his best not to overextend, and I think that's why the damage has been sitting consistently in his favor, and why more often than not, Quid is finding his damage just from boxing it back onto stage as opposed to controlling the ledge. Oh, but here's where things can go awry for Tilde. Quid's Ivysaur is out, but that's not... Okay, that back air, super scary, but not quite enough to actually do it. Another rising neutral from the ledge. That's the second one that Quid has used to get out of that bad spot. Does not expect the landing hitbox of that neutral and that's Ooh, it! Just like that, Tilde's down tilt finally finds its mark. And we're going to be seeing Tilde later on, but it's going to be from Winner's Side Grands. And so that's the first time he's ever made to Winner's Grands, right? Is this the first time he's ever made to Grands at all? Yo, are we going to have two champions in a row? Two new champions in a row at Xeno? Yeah, no, that oh. was actually like, oh, no, give me that one again. Give me that one again. So what option did he pick here? In down till, I'm trying to see no, what no, happened no. from Quid. Yeah, I know. What button he had did you pick? Right? Enhance. Did he just drop down? I think he dropped down to try and like come back up with a neutral. There's a whole lot of screen shaking. Jesus. Okay. okay. So we out here on the ledge. No, I think he just ran out of legend invincibility. That, uh, because no, that, that doesn't that doesn't follow. Here, let's look at how long he was off stage. Let's go back to engine ten. Okay. Frames. Yeah. No. Bring it. Because, bring it all the way back. Uh, yeah, we're gonna bring it all the way back here. This isn't slow mo. So he was off stage here. Gets hit once. Hero. Doesn't have a jump. Bowser. Goes all the way back. No, he should not have run out of invincibility at that point. Yeah. Well, he wasn't at that high percent. That was like literally I think it less was, than a it second was, of invincibility. It was like the most exact of situations there.